Okay, this is Poi, as you can see. It's a uh, 3D platform game in early access. I'm just starting a new game, so you can see. It's a uh, very, I guess, Mario-like is the term. The, the graphics, although they, you know, they're clearly uh, more modern, are very reminiscent of uh, N64 games. Uh, you know, that I used to play back in the day. So, this veteran explorer, he wants to make us an explorer. How exciting is that? Alright, so, you can be a boy or a girl. As we can see. There you go, that's both models. Oh. Let's move around, let's do some jumping. Welcome to the Junior Explorer training course. So if you hold down the button you jump for longer. There we go. There are coins to collect. There's a coin in there. Let's read that one. Yep. You buy stuff with the coins. Uh, over the shoulder look mode. Which really just lets you uh, aim at stuff, um, in my experience. So, now, oh dear. Usually I, I have to mention on uh, on my videos to not expect competence of any kind. And, uh, oh, it's doubly so for 3D platforming. Let's try that again. There we go. actually up there for me to get. So we have we have tight ropes. We have a bunch of stuff that uh okay. We have walls we can jump up. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, I already walked on ropes. But let's go and collect this coin. Oh, let's not go collect the coin because I'm reading the sign again. Oopsie. Let's try and get this. Oh, that's better. So if you jump as you land, you get an extra boost on the old uh, jumping ability. I don't know if the X really makes me run any faster. Now there are prizes for... Uh, Speed runs for collecting all the coins. There's an interesting flag up there. Possibly I can get to that. Shall we try it? Let's have a look. Missed it. I won't waste time. 
because it would probably take me many hours, many, many hours to, uh, many, 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 many hours. Many, many hours to actually uh, do that bit correctly, so let's hurry on. Oh, the X button to run faster. There we go. Checkpoint. Ho oh, ho! Yes. So the medallions uh, denote completing the levels, basically. Uh, there are a few different levels. I've mostly done the first one so far. Okay, new record. We can look at the leaderboard and see how slow I am. See, I'm only five minutes behind those people. Although it's it's hard to say if that was a completionist type thing. Yes, let's start our adventure. Look at that. We're going to travel by airship to platforming uh, platforming games. So there's all the usual stuff. There's, uh, there's secret areas. There's uh, hidden pickups. Uh, you do multiple... You do the same area multiple times. And as so you go back a second time, you'll have different objectives. And... Uh, different things will un unlock as a result. So it, it's, uh, it makes good use of the, uh, the resources, I guess. Now it is early access. The game isn't finished yet. So there's only two main uh, worlds done so far. Cozy Canyon, but there are plans for much more, and you know the gameplay. It's uh, it seems solid to me. Let's go to Cozy Canyon. Are we going? It looks like it. to travel. Yeah, so the gameplay seems so that's all right. So that's what I say. On this visit to Cozy Canyon, the goal is to activate the windmill. Um, and you'll see that's the medal on top of the windmill. The windmill has platforms on it, so you have to activate the windmill to. Uh, there we go. Explorer block. You see there are the other uh, activities on this map. Uh, we've not got any other maps at the minute. Okay. Right, right. Bonus XP for locations. I'm not going to worry about any of that though. Let us... Uh, I'm not even going to be doing, doing all the coins and stuff, I'm just going to speed run it. Double jump in, and we can read the sign. The windmill is this way. There's a sign. Strange yellow wire. It leads to that switch over there. There we go. And you can see over there there's some keys and things. There are keys to collect on each level. Uh, there are other collectibles, as I understand it. Oops, missed it. Alright, let's give it this time. 
But again, I'm not bothering with them. Doom doom! I have achieved the medallion. And you can see there's many coins to collect. 154. Let's look at the leaderboards. Look at that. 12.8 seconds. That's pretty impressive, actually. Pretty impressive. I'm not even sure how you could do that in 12 seconds. But clearly, somebody's figured it out. Maybe there's some uh, some hack that you can get on top of the windmill without having to turn it on. I don't know. So that's the game. It's Poi. Uh, clearly, the target audience is uh, probably uh, uh, younger children and teens. But it's it's still quite fun, quite nostalgic for those of us that remember Mario 64 and those sort of things. Uh, it is in the Steam sale. It's, forget I think about a third off uh, possibly isn't worth it right now for the amount of content there is the game and how much it costs but uh, from the uh, from the you know generally how solid the, the gameplay seems to me I suspect it will turn out to be worth it in the end and I'm quite happy to have bought it uh, it certainly there's not that many 3D platformers available for Linux, so uh, definitely worth checking out if this is your sort of thing. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, that's Poi in early access, available natively for Linux.